Update 2 on Tropical Storm Karen, currently located in the Gulf of Mexico with winds of 50 miles per hour, that's down from earlier today overnight, a pressure of 1,003 millibars and current positions 25.6 degrees north, 90.2 degrees west and it's expected to continue towards the north, eventually making landfall along the Gulf Coast of the United States as a tropical storm, although at the moment it does appear that it will be weakening along the way, so it probably isn't as big as a um, threat as it probably once was, at least um, by what the forecasts say at the moment. Um, degenerating into a remnant low sometime after it makes landfall as it heads towards the northeast so that's what will be going on there over the next few days tropical storm not likely to become a hurricane anymore but we still do have hurricane watches in effect just in case from grand isle louisiana to destin florida tropical storm warnings in effect from morgan city louisiana to the mouth of pearl river tropical storm watches for new orleans lake moy pass and lake pontchartrain destined to indian pass florida as well included in the tropical storm watch zone at the moment Sea surface temperatures right now are fairly warmer at the moment, around 28, 29 degrees perhaps in some areas around the storm at this time in the central Gulf of Mexico there. Uh, though along the coastline, temperatures just a little bit cooler, around 27 to 28 degrees, but still not too much um, to uh, to weaken the storm in terms of sea surface temperatures. Uh, but looking at the other things that, de that determine intensity, this is the intensity comparisons right now, what the models are saying. Uh, the blue line, the HWRF, is still keen on possibly becoming a hurricane, but uh, that doesn't seem too likely at the moment. Though as you can see there, it takes a more easterly track, making landfall uh, in Florida. Uh, but though we're probably going to be following the red one, that's probably the most likely scenario at the moment uh, crossing the extreme southwestern tip uh, southeastern tip of louisiana then eventually making landfall in alabama or in florida so this is the uh, current wind shear you can see how it's expected to rise fairly dramatically in the next two days or so when the storm nears land um, and sea surface temperatures as i said earlier uh, will be remaining warm around 28 to 29 degrees pretty much until landfall so sea surface temperatures aren't really of a concern shear is of course the wind shear will probably weaken the storm rather considerably it already is uh, to a degree uh, humidity comparisons as well that's around 50 to 60 percent at the moment uh, likely to drop slightly over the next day or so so that's the current situation with that with that um this is what it looks like on satellite imagery then you can see how it's probably struggling a little bit there um, you can see uh, a partially exposed center of circulation uh, most of the flare-ups are on the right hand side of the storm towards the east and it's uh, not looking too great at the moment as far as the storm's concerned it did look better um, previously but this is the reason uh, most of the reason at least anyway apart from the wind shear you've got all that dry air off to the left hand side of the storm which is over the uh, northwestern half of the Gulf of Mexico as well as over land as well over texas louisiana and mexico so that's what will be inhibiting development over the next few days along with that wind shear uh, which will probably remain it will keep the storm as a fairly weak one at, at this time around 50 miles per hour at the moment it's down from 65 which is what its peak has been so far sometime yesterday evening so as of right now the world tropics invest 93e currently located on the other side of mexico not likely to develop at the moment karen of course in the atlantic jerry what's left of it getting very close to the azure now uh, invest 99a in the indian ocean as well and uh, typhoon vito and tropical storm danas in the western pacific so here's the atlantic ocean i think jerry's just off shot now but karen's there still uh, in the gulf of mexico moving towards the gulf coast of the united states at this time moving slowly towards the north but you can see um, in that picture as well how most of the uh, rainfall and thunderstorms associated with the storm are pretty much displaced towards the east um, and southeast of the center of the storm. So 11 tropical storms have formed so far in 2013. That's the 56th busiest on record. Two hurricanes so far and no major hurricanes um, to speak of just yet. And it doesn't appear that Karen will become the third hurricane anymore either. But that is still a small possibility. But looking at how the storm's faring at the moment, it doesn't really seem like much of a chance at all. So you can track this storm and indeed any other storms out there. Uh, there are a few worldwide at the website force13.com forward slash storm tracking.html. That's the main page for it. Uh, they can uh, be presented with the overview map showing all the storms that are currently active, including invests and post tropical storms, uh, with tables at the top and bottom showing their intensities and indeed any warnings that are currently in effect. Obviously, with Karen, we have hurricane watches in effect at the moment, tropical storm warnings, and tropical storm watches to go along with those too. So, you might want to stay up to date by visiting the website, which should be more up to date than this video will as time goes on this video becomes out of date eventually you can also find us elsewhere on the web facebook and do a search force 13 on either of those uh, you should find us fairly easily enough 
And uh, as always, please show your support by doing the usual means of engagement. I'm sure I don't have to tell you this, but uh, just in case. Um, and if you want to ask a question or submit a comment or anything else, then uh, you're more than welcome to on the comments page of the uh, YouTube video or by private message if you so wish. The next video and Karen will be coming up probably at 4 p.m. on uh, 4:30 p.m. UT, uh, 3:30 p.m. UTC. I'm thinking British time here on Saturday, the 5th of October, 2013. But until then, that's all for now.